Hey everybody, Brian the Wild Armenian, Rat Ride Car Pork Builder Mechanic, whatever you want to call me. Don't call me late for lunch. Look at there, I got me a pointer. Uh, um, not my finger, but uh, well, this is a welding rod and uh, <laughs> we're going to go do something right now. But uh, I want to talk to you about my fourth, um, excuse me, I'm trying to unscrew my joystick here. What do you call this? Uh, um... GoPro stick, whatever. <laughs> you got to you gotta work with me, please. I'm a boomer. I'm a slow boomer. There's some smart boomers. I've met them. Uh, maybe why a lot of them retired early. <laughs> they were smarter. <laughs> but anyway, uh, the reason why I got this welding rod is I got to go out to the old Airstream here and <clears throat> make a measurement. And what I'm using this is for a memory rod. And I'll get to that in a minute. But, um, sorry I haven't been back with y'all. This is going on, this is Sunday, and I'm going on my fourth week of retirement. And, of course, you know, February is going to be Wednesday, or that's the end of the month of January, excuse me. And so, uh, this has been a longer month, January has been. Uh, I don't know why, it seems like I want January to get over with, and, uh, that's kind of weird, you know. I kind of, I can't, in a way, I'm trying to speed up my retirement. And I'm going, well, wait a minute. If I do that, I'm going to be older. And I don't want to do that. <laughs> it's just getting used to this. Trust me. Now, yesterday, um, me and the wife planted, I got some blueberries. I've got me a garden going on. And uh, I got little shriveled up looking blueberries. But I'm going to go to Walmart they got a sale on them. I'm going to buy some more. I should have bought two extra ones. I got potatoes. We're germinating spuds in there. I ain't got anything in that one yet. Hey, this old pointer stick works pretty good. Uh, hmm. So, uh, it's doing multitasking like I was a multitasker at work. And, um, you know, I had a nightmare. Scary nightmare, you know. It wasn't monsters or anything. I had a dream last night I was went and asked for my job back I mean, it was scary <laughs> that is a nightmare to me and uh, yeah I don't know why in the heck did I put myself through all that in years of working with those people but I did you know I stuck it out and did the right investments and did the right thing and it was hard and I, I think back about uh, some of the people there, you know, I mean, God bless them, you know, um, had to use my, um, my Christian teachings really hard with some of those people there at work where I work, used to work at and really forgive them. And they say things, do things and just very negative. Uh, I don't know, just the way it was there, you know, it's kind of like a corporate setting too, you know, the people throw you under the bus constantly and, and, uh, Jeez, I, and that, that that's what I call when I had that dream last night. That's why it was a nightmare. It was like, God, uh, go return to that. Never again, you know, really. Um, down the road, I'll, I'll probably get a part-time job or do something like that. But, you know, I, I don't think my attitude will be a lot better. You know, I won't, I don't know what, you know, I don't know. Yeah, I've been a mechanic too. I might just go into mobile repair and just work for myself, so... We'll probably do that if I do something like that. Uh, right now, I don't have time to go to work. <laughs> I got too many projects. I got this old um, uh, scaffolding here. And because uh, I didn't feel like going to the hospital, I, don't, I was on that airstream. I got to do some work to the roof. And uh, so I went and bought this at Lowe's pretty good deal and uh, it's a lot safer I can do the work here getting back to the memory rod here if you notice I got dents here and that ain't too bad and um, but what's bad is I got a nasty creep I don't know if the camera picked that up but right in here well this is what I'm going to use this rod for this is a angled here and so I'm going to bend this rod 
the face. And what this rod's going to do is get the memory of that shape, and I'm going to transform it to a block of wood. And I'm going to have to go to Lowe's maybe today. I don't know if I feel like it or if I got time enough. Uh, I have to write it in my busy schedule. <laughs> but uh, what I'm going to do with this rod, it's going to bend to the curvature of this this camper. Now I'm going to build a plenishing um, out of the wood. I'm going to, in other words, cut the angle in a piece of wood. I'm thinking maybe an eight by eight piece of uh, post I'll buy. I'll have to look around at Lowe's, see what they got in lumber. Uh, so that's where I'm going to have to have the wife help me because when I build the carpenter and I'll hold the wood or she'll hold the wood up there or I'll hold the wood up there and we'll get on the other side inside the camper. Let me get you in here. I don't mean to make you sick, but uh, there's that nasty creeks. So by taking the wood, let me set the pointer down now. By taking the wood on the other side, then I can tap it with the rubber rubber hammer and uh, try to bang it out. Now, when I cut the wood, you know, uh, that's what this memory rod, it's like I said, it's going to have the shape and I'll be plenishing that out. Uh, so there's a nasty crease there. So that's it, you know, um, I got it this far down yet. I've got to separate the body from the chassis so I'm going to put a subfloor on this but before I do that <coughs> I'm not in a, no rush to do it uh, this project's going to take a long time and I can I accept that maybe a couple of years I'll be into it uh, you know I'm going to work on it here and there and and do that uh, and I've, I've thought about it you know I can my my old self, my old the one that before I retired, uh, would just knock this thing out. You know, I mean, whatever it was, get it done, get it done. Let's get it going. And it's kind of like hurry up and do it, and not enjoy it. And this time I'm going to enjoy the process. Uh, and I think really going on my fourth week of retirement. Um, Kind of like I was trying to rush everything. I really was. You know, I looked at that, started thinking about it. And I'm trying to rush life, like I said earlier. And you know what? I just need to slow down, take it easy, you know? And, uh, you know, a pastor friend of mine years ago said, how do you eat an elephant? And one bite at a time. Well, when I'm biting this elephant one day at a time, I'm going to try to enjoy the ride I'm on. And be thankful that last night was just a dream. <laughs> you know, that was a horrible dream. And thank God it was just a dream. And um, with a little tone of gratitude, sometimes we just got to stop back and think, you know, and be grateful for what we have, you know. And grateful I went all those years, you know, working those people uh, there were some good people. There were some people, you, you know, that uh, it's a miracle that, you know, I went through it with the grace of God. And, um, you know, just one day at a time. Sometimes we just got to struggle through those moments, you know, and struggle through those days. And, um, oh, and by the way, on my video thing here, I know I've got this new phone and something weird's been happening to my YouTube studio. And I was going to pump out a bunch of videos. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to upload this one. Um, I've been really having some difficulties. So um, what it is, I had some older videos that I can't upload to my photo gallery. And then uh, I've been trying to figure it out. I've been watching videos on how to do it and all that. And the problem I'm having, I haven't found any videos yet. So my wife did tell me where... Um, down in this one plaza, they have some uh, um, computer and video place there, and they, they offer to help people and problems with their phones and all. So I'm going to check that out or check Best Buy or somebody like that. But I'm going to check this one outfit out and see if they can help me with the, what I'm having on my YouTube studio. And I've been thinking also of opening up another channel. 
And uh, we're going to work on that. And like I said, no rush, but I'm going to do one on more mechanical stuff and uh, my projects. So I think I'm going to get in, you know, I'm doing all my YouTube channel, I mean, videos here on my cell phone here and this new one even. But I'm going to get into getting a, a nice uh, video camera and I'm going to look into, you know, doing that and then uh, uploading videos. And that's where I'm going to run into the problem because I'm having problems on my own YouTube studio uploading videos. I'm thinking to myself, well, what the heck I get a... A camera, you know, whether it's one of those GoPros or whatever I get, well, what says I'm not going to have problems there, you know? So I don't know. I don't want to pull up, put up any walls and, and keep me from learning or advancing. So I'm a work in progress, trust me. So hang in with me. And then once I get the other YouTube channel going, and the reason why I want to do the other YouTube channel, I, I know when I watch... I watch a lot of car guys building stuff, and I watch also RVs and Airstream videos, people uh, restoring EMV, RVs and campers and stuff like that. And and they got a lot of time delay, uh, time lapse on their, you know, and all these projects like this project here, I've already done a boatload of work that I could have documented, but the problem is I can't do it on this phone. So that's why I'm going to move into a camera uh, of a, a video camera so I'm a work in progress I'm still trying I'm still investigating and seeing uh, I need to get the help basically I suffer from dumb boomerism I'm one of those slow boomers like I said earlier so just hang in there folks and uh, I don't know if a lot of my viewers uh, like that kind of stuff but um, when I get going but I'm still going to do this this channel here also and I enjoy doing it and um, you know what? It's actually good therapy for me. It really is. And I get I get a lot of great comments. And um, like I've said, you guys are like a family to me, another family. And that's that's really cool. It really is. And there's some YouTubers out there that reached out to me too and telling me to hang in there. And I really appreciate it. It's YouTube family's pretty good. I mean, other people, other YouTubers are uh, pretty uh, really good people really are and uh it's just a good thing i mean i i, I never met you know what in a million years i never thought it would be like this you know i if i <laughs> i could have never imagined this you know and it's really great so hell i'm grateful and uh just remember some of those nightmares are just dreams <laughs> god bless you guys and thank you